Hi guys, it's your boy Gadget Man 404 here, and today it's more a chat again about the uh, legislation, registration, and there's been a few videos on YouTube lately about issues with the Mavic Mini. Now I've got the Mavic Mini and I love my Mavic Mini, but I've experienced some of these issues. And and so this video is just to talk about these issues. Now they're not major issues, but they could potentially turn into something a lot bigger if it's not addressed sooner rather than later, either in a firmware update or something. Now, it happened to me once in the video where I was flying about a thousand meters away or thereabouts and basically I hit some high winds. I was 150 meters high and I noticed that from my feed, because I was on 2.4, so I still had an excellent signal, my drone was drifting to the left a little bit and to the right. Now with the optical flow sensors at the back, even from 150 feet, I think you can still see the floor because there is a little camera in there as well. And I think that that should lock onto the floor because it's like a asphalt, like a tarmac, and that should have made it. It was it was stable. Don't get me wrong, it was stable, but oh there, I can see a hair just floating past my face. Right, and yeah, and so my drone started drifting from left to right just a little bit, and I was 150 feet high. Now when I flew out to the distance, the wind was like a crosswind, so as I was flying down the field and there was a lake in front of me, the wind was blowing like this. So when I was flying down the lake, obviously the wind was behind me, so I was getting 10, 12 mile an hour speed, which that isn't full throttle in P mode, okay, that is, I'm just looking up in the sky, looking at my screen and I can see where it's going and if it's going a bit too fast I slow it down a bit. I don't razz my, any of my drones, I don't razz them around, never have, don't want to because it ruins the shot. So anyway, when I was decided to come back because I didn't want it to um, get too weak on battery and I wouldn't be able to fly back. So at 150 feet high, I had exper I was experiencing um, high wind. Uh, the warnings were like all the time. It was saying high winds, high winds. Please fly with caution. Land promptly, which I wasn't going to land where it was because it was a long way away from me. So I decided to lower my altitude and put it in sport mode. And then from two and a half miles an hour I was getting with uh, P mode, I was getting 10 to over 10 miles an hour. And with about 15% battery left, I managed to fly the thousand meters, land it and still had about 5% battery. So as you guys are aware, EASA in July in the UK, on the 1st of July, I believe, what they're doing, and this is going to link into what I've just been talking about, so just bear with me guys, okay? Because I don't have a script, stuff just pops in my head and I start talking about it. So basically, this is where I see it, and this could be a fix for this issue. Because lots of people have had flyaways, and I wouldn't say it gets lost as in it doesn't know where it's going to and it flies away. It can't fly back because the wind's too strong and the battery is too low. Now, as you guys are aware, because of the 249 gram weight restriction, now I'm filmed with two cameras, so my Sony is up there, my 4K is down here. I'm filming in 2.7K, 30 frames per second, and I'm filming in 1080p, 50 frames per second on my Sony. So I've got two different cameras, the same is further back and the action camera is a lot closer. So if I look down it's because I'm just looking, I've got two cameras, I'm just keep looking up there, I need to look at this one as well, okay? So that's that. Right, so as from the 1st of July, as you guys may or may not be aware, EASA, a European board of new rules uh, involving drones, are going to make a ruling on the categories. 
Now at the moment the Mavic is exempt, or the Mavic Mini is exempt. Now sorry if my voice sounds a bit, because I have a blocked up nose, I might sound a bit different, but it's not my microphone or lack of microphone, it's just I have a blocked nose, so I sound a bit snooty. So that's that. Anyway, so as I was saying, 1st of July 2020, uh, EASA are launching uh, a load of new rules that are going to govern us in the UK and by July we aren't in the EU because we leave at the end of January but still organisations from other countries are still telling us what to do even though we aren't part of the EU but hey ho that is what is going to happen so it's not going to be exempt under the weight restriction, 249 grams. EASA are changing one of the categories. It is not going to be due to weight, it's going to be, it can fly X amount of distance, it can do this, it can do that, and it has a camera on board. So the problem with the Mavic Mini is when the battery starts depleting and there is strong winds, it struggles to fight the winds. And because it hasn't got the battery life, it can't, generate enough uh, momentum to get through the high wind, especially if it's like it was for me, it was coming at the drone, but sideways. So as I was coming back to me, the wind would have been coming across the drone like this, but it was sort of, you know, like that, going across as it was trying to cut through. So if it isn't going to be covered under the weight restriction, so it doesn't matter how much the drone weighs, you still have to register this drone. So why not put bigger motors? DJI, people that talk to DJI, anyone that sees this video and is in contact with DJI, why not put to DJI, right, the Mavic Mini isn't going to be exempt as a weight thing. So because you're gonna to have to register it from the 1st of July or around about July time, 2020, then it doesn't matter how much it weighs. So why not make a bigger battery capacity and instead of using like 680s, 650s, use high capacity batteries and also uh, change the motors, upgrade the motors, make an upgrade possible for the motors. Uh, I've seen videos on how to take off the arms because the wires for the motors are in the arm so I'm assuming that you just undo the screws, take the motor off, desolder it. You can either cut the wires and solder new motor wires and tape it and uh, silicone, uh, like heat sink it or whatever. So perhaps there's an option guys to increase or if anyone's thought about changing the motor size, do an experiment. And I don't know the specs of the ESCs and all that kind of thing. If anyone is more in the know of what the ESCs are, you know, what they can take, then you can work out what kind of motors. Because if you get these silly whoops and all that kind of thing, there's little motors, but they're still very powerful. And I just think it just needs a bit more poke on the motor. Now, yeah, you reduce your flight time, I can live with that if I don't have to worry that, oh, I'm going to struggle to get back. That is, my mate was flying literally on Tuesday mid-afternoon. I was flying doing my orbit around my Xeno with my Mavic Mini. The video is on YouTube, so please guys, give it a watch. It's not very long. There's a little bit of a commentary before the video of what I'm going to do, then there's the video, okay? three, four minutes, four and a half minutes, maybe max. And I don't use these quick shot modes. I try and do stuff manual. And to be honest, I've never ever done anything like this with any of my drones. I like to just fly in a straight line to something, uh, have a look around and then fly back. But the other day I decided I was going to hover my Xeno quite high up in the air, 150 feet. There was a bit of breeze, so the higher up you go, uh, the stronger the wind gets. My Mavic Mini was getting a little bit of um, error 
sort of you know high winds and that kind of thing but not as much as it was the other day so what I was trying to do was trying to do an orbit around my Xeno with my Mavic Mini and it worked to a fashion but as I was going around one side I was actually going backwards and sort of doing a big scoop around so it's two it started off quite close and by the end of the shot I was like miles away but that's the first time I've ever ever done it and I've been flying for six years I've never thought of doing an orbit around anything I don't I don't do that stuff you know I just fly manual but I try to do this and it, it worked. You can see the camera of the Mavic Mini is amazing. So you can see quite detailed that it's a Xeno. Um, so my friend was flying again. Sorry, I'm sort of crossing over. My friend was flying in the same field as me, but he was flying from his house. So he was flying from his back garden, like 600 metres away. And from the shelter of his house, he didn't think it was windy. So he flew 200 feet high, way, way over me, right to the bottom of the field. And what happened, guys, his battery, he hadn't charged one thing, <laughs> he hadn't charged his battery for weeks. So we only probably had 30, 40% left on his battery. And he always flies, or he does fly quite a bit in sport mode. So he's whipping around the field, guys, can you see me down there? Eee! Can you see me? Woo! I've got two cameras going, so I'm looking at that one and I'm looking at that one. So, yeah, so it was running around the field, like flying really fast and over the trees and into the fields. Then I looked behind me and he's walking towards me. And I'm like, what's up, mate? <gasps> it always happens. What the hell is going off with me? Whenever I make a video, I freaking start yawning. So annoying. But it's annoying for you. It's annoying for me and I'm doing it.